What's going on everybody? My name is Joey Nato. I am an artist slash music producer. If you want to hear some of my music, there's a link right at the top of the description below. Um, you should listen to it if you haven't. If you're in Nato Nation, that means you probably listened to it, so I appreciate you. Today we're going to be reacting to more BTS, and we're going to take it back a little bit. We're going to listen to a song that they dropped years ago called Danger. I've reacted to a lot of BTS on this channel. I've reacted to a lot of K-pop on this channel. If you wonder why that is, that's because, I mean, BTS fans basically gave me my, my, my first like shot. They were willing to listen to my reaction video and check it out. So I'm definitely appreciative of that. And they have a lot of variety in their music. So it fits the idea behind this channel of picking out different type of production. And since there's a lot of creativity behind their songs almost every time, there's a lot of different new things that I could pick out, people could learn about, and you know, be like, oh my god, I never knew that. If you're on Instagram, make sure to follow me at LuckyBoyNato. And if you're on Twitter, follow me on LuckyBoyNato as well. Make sure to say hi. So that way I can say hi. Back. That's all I got to say. BTS, danger. Let's get into it. A lot of wacky things going on with the, the volume here. Let me guess it's sugar. I, I, I had to guess that since I had to do a basketball. Alright, punching bag, basketball, RM writing. I think it was J-Hope dancing. There's a lot going on. Alright, beatbox going on. You got like that, like really, that really keyboard-esque electric guitar sound. Uh, meaning it's not a real electric guitar. A digital electric guitar notes just being stabbed with some distortion there. Just dang, dang. And then it has like little cool clicky block percussions going on. A uh, really, really thick clap sound. I like that clap sound. It has a lot of, um, a lot of crispness, crisp, Christmas, really? Crispness to it. Siren going on in the background. Interesting guitars here. Ooh, okay. Ooh, those stomp kicks over the main kicks. They're like boom, boom, boom. Like those, those are dope. That's creating a lot of energy, a lot of ground shaking feel to this song. JK rapping with the aggressiveness. Listen, let, yo, it started off so aggressive, and then I, that's that's the K-pop way, I guess, is no matter what, no matter what, they could be like talking about, I'll run up in your house. And then no matter what, no matter what the vibe of the song is, the pre-hook is going to be like, girl, I don't know. And I'm just sitting here like, but it's cool. I've said it before. It, it causes contrast in these songs where the verse is hip hop, hard hitting, blah, blah, blah. And then you lighten the mood and the pre-hook. So that way when the hook does come in, it just seems even more impactful in comparison. Those drums are going crazy, man. Flat rolls, toms. I like it. I like it. That's a very old sounding, old school sounding hook right there. Da 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 da. 
Like that's almost, uh, I don't even know how to describe that melody, like the origin of it, but nowadays you can't really get away with that melody on a song without people saying, oh, that sounds outdated or whatever. I understand this is like four years ago, five years ago, whatever it was. Um, but the hook, not, not, not my favorite that I've heard from them. Beat is crazy. Everybody's vocal performance is uh, very, very good. I think Jin, Jin singing was impressive on this one. Okay, I like this part of the hook though. Guitars. I like that. That's cool. Someone's killing the guitar. Dope vocal on the left. Oh, this is like this is like a harsh breakup type of song, like aggressive love song, aggressive hip hop street love song. I don't even know what to call it. I don't even know. That's my boy. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of chaps and breakups in this beat. <laughs> breakups, that's funny, because the kind of idea behind the song, sort of. Don't go ahead and go crazy with theory saying that was intentional. Like, oh, they chopped up the beat and broke it up because they're talking about breaking up and stuff like that. No, 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 no. I could almost promise you that wasn't the case with this one. At least I don't think. That would be crazy. But there's a lot of pauses, stopping, and uh, like th those type of things with the beat here. Wh whoever whoever was engineering the song or doing the production for it had a, uh, a field day with this one. <laughs> Wind chimes, electric pianos, kicking the clap together. Yo, when that guitar comes in, that Danny, that's dope. Okay, hold on. The hook is growing on me a little bit. Tight snare drum sounds. This is very unique. Very. Yeah. I want to say that vocal is unique too. You know, that whole pitchiness in the vocal there is kind of like, I, I don't know. I, I don't even know how to describe it. I think it's just unique. These are some destructive people, man. <laughs> they like to vandalize. That, now you heard that electric guitar, right? Had a lot of delay and reverb on it at the end there, making it echo out a little bit. All right, so the BTS sound was clearly a lot different back then than what it is now. That's pretty clear. It's kind of interesting uh, from a video perspective. Uh, all their videos in that era had like a really low saturation, almost sepia type tone to their videos. And really what that does is just makes the videos look more, I don't even know if the word's dramatic, but more like, for lack of a better word, I guess I'll just say dramatic. Very fast paced song, percussion oriented with a, a I heard maybe three different types of guitars in that song. Um, that main one that, that was the most powerful was definitely those stabs on the downbeat. It was like, dan it, dan it. And then it just, uh, the chord progressions were kind of interesting in my opinion. I didn't follow the typical formation that chords usually do in pop songs. And the pre-hook to me was, I mean, it, it was nice. It, you know what, I liked it because we got to hear, you know, um, some nice vocals during the pre-hook. So, even though it was kind of a, uh, a snap out, of, uh, it took you out of reality of the song and the harshness of the song for a second and just brought to you to this light, fluffy place with rainbows and butterflies. It still, it still sounded good. And then it, it caused a better buildup 
for when the hook dropped and made it more impactful that way. Let me know what you guys thought about the song. Um, maybe, maybe when you heard it four or five years ago. <laughs> and let me know what you guys thought about this video too. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at LuckyBoyNato or Twitter at LuckyBoyNato, whatever floats your boat. And I don't really got much more to say other than that. I don't got a cool outro line yet either, so I'll just say I appreciate you guys. Nato, hey, I'm not gonna break. Nah, I'm not gonna break. Under all the pressure, even if it's gotta take Another couple decades, I'm dedicated K I'll be damned if a quitter is what's written on my grave Look, I don't gotta tap, but if I got a little ink Never give up is the words it'll say Sorry that my thoughts are sorta of scrambled in a way I'm tryna sort them out so they're not